Good Gal Fusion here, back with another video. Um, so the starters have just been announced last night, actually. Um, Giannis, Jason Tatum, Kevin Durant, Kyrie, and Donovan Mitchell for from the East and then the West. Braun, Zion, uh, Jokic, Steph, and Luka from the West. Um, man. Where do I want to start? First, let's start off with some notable names who aren't on here. Um, well, Joel Embiid. I noticed he's not on there. That's the first name that really came out for me. Um, he's averaging 33 and 9. I'm actually looking at that there. Um, so, there's that. John Morant. Shea. Shea Gildress, Alexander. Uh, you had DeMontis Sabonis. Uh, I don't think he should have been a starter, even though he is leading in rebounds. Same thing with Tyrese Halliburton. He is leading with assists, but maybe Jalen Brown. But I think in like reality, we're missing Joel Embiid and John Morant from here. Now, I'm not mad at these at all. I think, I don't think that LeBron should have been a team captain, but um, it's usually based off of, off of like uh, fan voting stuff as well. So obviously like the more popular players will get the shine. Um, but I'm really surprised about or, or Joel Embiid but they would have had to take off either Giannis or Kevin Durant. Or Jason Tatum, right? In reality, it should have been Jason Tatum. Giannis, for sure. I can see Kevin Durant. Kyrie's been balling. And I'm not mad about Donovan Mitchell. So I think they got it right. I don't see a problem with the East. Um, yeah, I don't see a problem with the East. Um, if you want to argue, you could have Joel Embiid over Kevin Durant, maybe, if Kevin Durant is playing the four here, and just have a Giannis and Joel Embiid, but I don't know. Now the West... Um, Zion, he's missed quite a bit of games. But the games he has played in, he has had impact. Do you think that him being out should be a factor or not? Th that, I think, is a very Im important question. That's some stuff I've seen on there as well. So, um, you know, that could be something there also. Um... But they don't play the same position, him and Ja. But I guess you could have LeBron play the four. And then have a three-guard set with Ja. I mean, well, no, because it does have to be three front court players and two guards. That's the problem. It's two guards. So, mm. you can't even squeeze Ja in. Like, you really can't pause, I think. Uh, John Morant, unfortunately, he's not... I don't think he's better... I don't think this year he's having a better year than Steph or Luka. And I think that... I mean, their teams are better. I, I think that... Um, well, it's hard to even say. Because that Grizzlies team has lost to the Warriors team twice, I believe. And... They're supposed to have no no fear in the West, but they've been getting smacked. So I don't know. Um, I'm trying to think because I feel like we're missing someone from a, I mean, a team. Uh, we had the Bucks, Celtics, Nets, Cavs. 
there should be someone, well, besides Joel Embiid from the East and the West from a certain team that I just feel like is, isn't being like represented properly. Hold on. Let me see. Cause that's, there's a team there. I just can't think of it. Oh man. Um, Let's see. Hold on. So we have the Celtics leading in the East. 76ers second. Bucks third. Nets fourth. Cavs fifth. Heat sixth. Knicks seven. Hawks eight. Okay. I I, I think that's right. I don't have a problem with that, I guess. I, I thought that certain teams were higher than they were. As of recent, um, also during that All Star weekend slash break, I will be doing a almost like a mid season uh, conversation, real quick, just talking about a couple teams and that type of stuff. So that week um, should be a lot of basketball content here for you guys. So make sure that you are subscribed. Um, but really, just the 76ers. I thought. <laughs> that Joel Embiid was going to start. And I know that James Harden was going to come off the bench. But that sort of threw me off there, having no 76ers team up there. Now the West, um, the Nuggets first, Grizzlies second. The Kings, the Kings. Yeah, we did talk about Sabonis. Um, I mean, I guess you could have squeezed him in over Zion because Zion has been out. But popularity, come on. Um, there's no Grizzlies player on here, of course. Ja Morant, unfortunately. Yeah, we already talked about that. He's not better this year than Steph and Luka, even though his team is playing better. But I just felt like there's a... There's just something different about Steph and Luca just themselves. So, and I wouldn't even really worry about it yet um, as far as, like, the seeding. Because everyone in, from from three to, from three to nine, it's a six or seven game, like, battle here. So, it's not even, well, not even that. It's like a four or five. Someone goes on a five-game win streak and someone loses two or three games. That could bump them up to four or even three. Everyone is in contention in in the West from that three to eight. Well, no, the three to nine, actually. I guess you could even say that three to twelve is pretty tight. Everyone's in again, two or three games, four, a um five game win streak from any one of these three to twelve teams will push them up. That's how close it is, really, and I could again see the Kings. I don't know. I'm going to save it for the video. I'm going to save it for the video. There's a lot that I really want to talk about. I'm going to split it up into the East and the West. Um, So, yeah. But that's pretty much everything, guys. Uh, Tell me what you guys think about the um, All-Star starters. Who do you think was else? um, who, Who else do you think? I don't know why I can't speak. Um, was snubbed off of the starters. Um, I was looking at the list again, and I don't really see anyone else that I could really slide in. And it's deep, man. It's just like this um, MVP race. There is arguably four people, maybe five, in the starters that have have an honest push. To be an MVP. 
even one starter that is not on there. So maybe five or six, you know. Giannis, Jason Tatum, Jokic, Luka, and it's still early, you know, so you could still practically even see like LeBron making a push because he's, he's been playing crazy these last few games. Um, so you could practically see him going off and him also being in that contention, especially it being LeBron. Um, even Steph, he could go on a crazy quote unquote rampage. So who knows? You know? Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys later. Peace.